back to the emails that uh, ended up being placed in the public record. And I don't want to get to whether or not they were legally placed in the public record. The question is whether or not they were accurate. Because if they were accurate, it's profoundly disturbing. And it does end up putting into question all of the science of climate change. Now, uh, the data from the Climate Research Unit at the UEA in England is one of only three major data sets, but they considerably overlap. And they've been used as a basis for the IPCC report, as well as the U.S. Global Change Research Program. And that means that these two booklets that were passed out this morning, you know, at best need to have a thorough review in the light of this information that has been disclosed. And at worst, it's junk science, and it is a part of a massive international scientific fraud. Now, Dr. Holden, you've been in the middle of a lot of this, and I've got a couple of questions based upon your statements before you joined the Obama administration. Um, you gave an interview in August of 2006 with BBC News in the UK. And you said that a sea level rise of up to 13 feet was in the realm of possibility. However, that's 11 feet higher than what the IPPC has estimated uh, over this period of time, which is uh, somewhere between 7 and 23 inches. Now, with respect to the hockey stick theory, which the chairman has referred to, um, that's been pretty much discredited uh, uh, in the scientific community. And yet, in your October 13th email, which is now in the public record, you aggressively attacked uh, the two scientists that uh, put this together, uh, a Dr. Willie Soon and a Dr. Sally Baliunas, uh, uh, for that. Now, uh, I think it's pretty clear that in both cases you were wrong. Uh, and I guess I'd like to know if you're concerned now that you're in the White House and representing all of the public, uh, whether you're concerned about the misrepresentation of the state of science with respect to global warming. And I'd also like to know if you still support uh, the principal critic of the, uh, those who trash the uh, hockey stick theory. Uh, and that is a doctor, Michael Mann, knowing of his efforts now to hide his data and to encourage his colleagues to shut out journals like Climate Research to publish works contrary to his own bias. Uh, Congressman, let me try to take those um, in, the, in the order you asked them. Uh, and, and the very first part of your statement, uh, with respect, I would disagree with you that this uh, current uproar calls into question all of climate science. I do not believe that it remotely Well, sir, I didn't that. say that. I said it ought to be looked at again. And, you know, uh, well, there's increasing evidence of scientific fascism that's going on. And I think as policymakers who are making decisions about the state of the American economy for the next several generations, that we ought to have accurate science. And it appears there's enough question on whether the science we have is accurate. That's got to be resolved. And I wish we could have done it in this hearing, but the chairman wouldn't let us. But go ahead. Um, I, I very much agree that we need to resolve uh, the current issue. It's important to understand uh, what has really gone on here to get to the bottom of it. Uh, as I indicated before, that's been one of the strengths of science over the years, the capacity to get to the bottom of the controversies that emerge, and I believe we'll get to the bottom of this one. But the key point is, however this particular controversy comes out, uh, the result will not call into question the bulk of our understanding of how the climate works or how humans uh, are affecting it. Uh, you mentioned um, an interview of mine uh, a few years ago in which I talked about the possibility of a sea level rise in this century as much as 13 feet. That was based on scientific peer-reviewed publications that appeared in the early 2000s that indicated that over geologic time in periods of natural climate change, there had been episodes in which the rate of sea level rise increased by as much as two to five meters per century, and that this could not be ruled out at the temperatures for which we were heading 
in the 21st century as a result of our activities. You're, you're still 11 now, feet above what the IPPC, well, let, IPCC sir, was recommending. If, if my, you time, my time is almost up, and I'd just like to you know, say that there, there's an awful lot of scientific McCarthyism, meaning name-calling, going on, because I quote from your email of October 13, 2003, saying, doing this will reveal that Soon and Bali Yunus are essentially amateurs in the interpretation of historical and paleoclimatology records of climate change. You know, you're, you're not dealing with their issue, you're calling them names. And I think we ought to get to the bottom of this without having the name calling. And I wish that, uh, that you, as the President's science advisor and a former employee of one of the most distinguished universities in the world, would be able to get beyond the name calling and get to it. My time is up and I yield back. I, I would be happy to answer all of the Congressman's questions if I'm allowed. Uh, I, 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 we, 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 you will be given enough time, but uh, let me turn right now and recognize the gentleman from Washington State. Mr.